Hey everyone, Rob here from Gunfather Milsim, uh, bringing you a kind of a different video today. Uh, for those of you that know or watch the channel, I'm kind of big into fitness, and I was wandering around the internet, found an interesting workout I wanted to give a try. It's called the Mogadishu Mile, obviously after the uh, Black Hawk Down incident in 1993. Where basically the question is, is, do you have a fitness level that would allow you to run for a mile in full kit? Uh, no time limit. Just got to run and not stop. Those are the rules. Um, I kind of questioned, I'm pretty sure I can do it, but I kind of questioned how, how easy it would be for me. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty damn hard. So I'm going to give it a whirl. Uh, if you watch the channel, you know I'm a big proponent of fitness in uh, Airsoft or Milsim. I like to say that uh, everybody wants to be a Navy SEAL, but nobody wants to do the push-ups. So I think this is a pretty good test to see where you're at physically and to see where you're at with uh, how comfortable your gear is. Um, I'm going to wear uh, my SWAT gear with plates, with ammunition, radio, med pack, etc. And uh, weighs about 47 pounds, including a helmet, comms, and a weapon, which is a Daniel Defense Mark 18. Um, and I'm wearing uh, level 3 plates, but they're polymer, so they're a little bit lighter than some of the other plates that some people run. Uh, I can usually run a mile if I'm going breakneck speed in the high sixes. Um, my regular running pace is about eight and a half. I would like to think that I'll be able to do this in about nine minutes, but uh, realistically, if I can get sub 10, I'll be pretty happy. And uh, we'll just see what happens. I have no idea how it's going to go. Uh, quick rules um, I'm going to do it on a treadmill uh, for one reason is if I run outside, uh, I live kind of in the middle of nowhere, but I still have neighbors and they're going to be freaked out if they see me running around with a rifle. And uh, in my armor around there, I wonder if the zombie apocalypse has started. Uh, two, my children are hanging out with me today. You can see them here in the background, working out, Reagan and Colton. Um, I'm gonna put the treadmill on a two degree incline to try to simulate running outside. And uh, we'll just see how fast we get it done. Uh, I'm not gonna wear my work BDUs and work boots. I'm gonna wear regular workout clothes and uh, tennis shoes just to make it a little bit easier on my knees and uh, weapon is flagged for safety with no magazine in it not loaded uh, the full mag that was in the weapon is going to be my dump pouch so the weight doesn't change and uh, we'll see how I do so without further ado let's uh, get this started and I'm going to fast forward through the actual run so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me sweat for nine minutes but we'll keep it running just to prove I did it and that's Miss Reagan working out next to me <laughs> so let's see how I do. Already I can tell this is probably going to suck a little bit. So let's see what happens.
dabei. Well, got her done right at nine minutes and uh, significantly harder than I expected. I can check that box now. I don't think I'll be trying this again. But uh, right about nine minutes, it turned out to be, it was harder about it. I've done mile runs with a 50 pound bag, sandbag on my shoulders and that's hard. But this was a lot harder. You'd think it'd be easier because the weight's evenly distributed, but it wasn't. Weight's swinging around, it's uneven. Really uh, takes it out of you. What do you think, Reagan? Did Daddy do a good job? Fist bump. Okay. So, till next time, get out there, give it a whirl, and uh, see what you can do. Later. What was that?